is up guys, it's Jake from Team Insanity here and I'm bringing you an awesome review here today of this awesome DM15. And actually I'm just kidding, but we did go out of our way. We bought the coolest gun, one of the most anticipated guns of the season that have been coming out. And we're gonna give it away for one of you to one of you lucky guys for free. That is, you don't have to pay any money or go, you know, do anything crazy. I mean, sucking our dick might get you an extra entry, but we'll, we'll get to that giveaway a long time from now. Don't ask how you enter the giveaway because I won't answer the question because I don't know yet. We haven't figured that part out. But yes, this is a Die M2 that we will be giving away back to the paintball community to our subscribers for free. You don't have to pay or do anything like that. Like I said, we will get back into that far down the road when the review and all that stuff is coming up. And like I said, if you guys are new to Team Insanity, we don't just take these out of the boxes and just review them right away. We, this is just an unboxing and a first impression, just our impressions of it right out of the box. This isn't, you know, a full-blown review. We do that after we beat the living daylights out of it and we shoot 50 cases through it, okay? First and foremost, so this is not going to be a gun review. This is an unboxing. This is a first impressions video. And... We just got back from Lone Wolf Paintball. It's like 10 o'clock at night. We got some Dairy Queen, got to sell some big booty at Dairy Queen. And now, first and foremost, we did take this out of the box at first because we just couldn't handle it. Get this awesome little die sticker like you do with all the die gear that you buy. And this is a pretty bitchin' awesome case right out, right out the back. Really, really hard case, has a cool die logo on it. Now, who cares about the case? I mean, I can tell they stepped up their game. They kind of have to compete with the best Planet Eclipse cases. Now, one thing that I did notice is upon opening, you can kind of hear stuff rattling around. I'll get to that in a second. So, we got the USB port, which you're definitely not going to not going to want to lose at least right here. You have the M2 itself. I will put this to the side. And then right up here, you actually have, it's really, really cool. I think this is a cool idea where they have it all laid out. They have like a teching mat right here for you. So you have all your O-rings, the actual sizes of the O-rings, what color they are because it's a color-coded O-ring kit. You have the LED lights right here, what they indicate. You have a, um, how the board works and all of that. And then you have an in-depth manual. I believe this is a manual at least. When I go and take this out, we'll try to run it through Die Consumer Support Passport. If I had to take a guess, and then on the back it says Owner's Manual. If I had to take a guess, this is the Owner's Manual. Die, you guys were doing really good with your color coded, with the color, you know, manuals and all that. I, I'm highly against this, even though it's really cool actually. They, they kind of get points because it's cool and silver. But, like I said, I'm kind of against, I, I want, if I'm going to be paying $1,500 for a gun, I want a nice manual out of the box. But you do get this cool little setup right here, so that makes up for it a little bit. And then you go ahead and pull it down right out of the box that we're having problems with the barrels and everything falling out. Okay, that's, these barrels don't hold in here too well at, at all they just sort of all fall out okay considering and also you get the best freaking die tool kit in the world people kill people for these tool kits okay i've we go to the field i've seen people literally that like they have their guns laying out on the table and these will go up missing before a gun i don't know what it is everyone fights for these stupid die tool kits they're really awesome you have all your allen keys on it that you're gonna need you have O-ring picks right here, plus basically everything you're going to need, extra tools that you will need to take apart any die gun that has ever been made. Um, this this tool kit will actually do it. Sometimes with some things and die guns, you need the die tool kit to take some of them apart. But like I said, people kill people for these stupid tool kits. Okay, there's, I don't know what it is, but these tool kits are hot. Of course, you get die lube. You're going to need that. You're going to want some nice Dow 33, Dye Lube, Slick, Monkey Poo, anything like that. Definitely going to want to go with the Dye Lube. Get the nice parts kit. Get color-coded O-rings. Let me see if I can... Am I smart enough to open this? Oh, you know what? It's actually sealed. There's a plasticking. There's a plastic around it. It's taped shut. So I'm not actually going to open that, but I'll show you the back of it. 
So you can see there is color-coded O-rings, detents, extra detent springs, screws, small O-rings, extra eye pipe stuff, all that fun stuff that you're gonna need right there. Next, next thing, die ultralight barrel kit. The best barrel on the freaking market, okay, if you ask me. Best barrels along with the, the boom stick and the die ultralights. Absolutely, I don't know what it is, but it's the best barrel I've ever shot. I absolutely love it. Ball on ball, the honing is amazing. It's very, very quiet. It's very awesome. It's very accurate. I just love me some nice ultralights. To me personally, and a lot of other people that have shot them, definitely say that they're better than the shaft, the Mac Dev, the um, the Empire barrel kits. They're they're better than a lot of the barrel kits out there. And a cool thing is, for the money that you're paying, you're not also getting the basically the best barrel on the market. You're getting you're getting it with two backs. You get a 684 back, which is the back that I always use on my boomstick. Huge plus for me. And then you also get the normal 688, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it's an unmarked back. It's an unmarked die back, which is, is a 688. Upon further inspection, you get your warranty card that we won't send in. You guys, whoever wins it, can send it in. And I start pulling it. I'm like, yeah, they started doing a better barrel cover. And no, it's still a shitty barrel cover. Um, it's it's still a, sad, a one of those sad, elastic, pretty poopy barrel covers that, I mean should be basically field illegal. And then you get this cool manual thingy doohickey right here. And it tells you basically, it's the startup guide. It tells you everything they need to know about gassing it up, the board, all of that awesome stuff. So I guess they, I guess they sort of make up for it a little bit here, but I still want a full blown manual. I mean, I. I guess they make up for it in the barrel kits and everything, but I still want a manual. It's really, really simple, a very easy thing. They also said that the eye pipe got thicker, and yeah, I can definitely say that this is a different eye pipe, and it's definitely a little bit better. So I can tell you that right out of the box, is that people were complaining about the eye pipes breaking 99% of the time. It was consumer issue with people just being retarded, but I can definitely say that's a new eye pipe. If you guys don't know anything about dye, Basically, they have the eye pipe system, which is this little pipe thing right here. This covers the eyes. Your detents and everything are right in here. So if you break a ball, there's a front O-ring on the bolt on the bolt tip, and it'll actually go through and squeegee any paint that's on that. So your eyes will keep on reading, which is pretty damn crucial if you guys have if you guys own any gun that doesn't have an eye pipe and you get um, paint in your eyes, or if you just have like a bad batch of paint or something happens. Sometimes it happens. And it's not always the gun's fault. Sometimes it's the paint's fault. I've never really had an issue with, with die guns chopping. It's more so all of a sudden, oh, I get a really bad batch of paint. Sometimes that happens. It's very, very awesome when they do that. Now, Upon further inspection, milling, fantastic. Anodizing, fantastic. Feed neck, really freaking awesome. And let me just take this off. ASA, they still have the move. Yeah, they still have the movable ASA. This is the only ASA on a gas. As as of that, what I know, I believe I said that in the DM15 review that hasn't been uploaded yet. But this is the only ASA that you can move back and forth. And, and I mean, this is the only gas through foregrip, like the actual only gun, the ASA that can move back and forth that doesn't have any macro line. So, also, if you guys know. I absolutely hated the old die ASAs, okay? They made, they changed the ASA to make it pretty freaking awesome right here, okay? So you can have the full, I mean, it's just a nicer ASA. You don't actually have to fight with it compared to this old one. You can tell the difference between the two ASA knobs, that this ASA knob is a lot easier to get at um, especially if you have oil and paint and all the dirt and crap that you get on your hands from a normal play. You're definitely going to be able to turn this on and off. You get a better grasp, all that fun stuff. Let me turn on the board. You get this cool, I sort of changed the startup manual. Let me tell you that this board die absolutely outdid themselves. Now the board on these are pretty freaking awesome. Die really outdid themselves right out of the box. I started looking at it. They have it so you can see your pressures. I mean, there's just, there's a lot of different stuff. You, where you, they got a game timer. The things that are on this is actually really, really cool for a first time company making an OLED board. This 
they really, really outdid them. I mean, it's pretty freaking perfect. Other thing that I like about die boards, or you know, and it's not just die alone. There's a few companies that do it, but if you heard that, if you hold down the trigger for a full, I think 1.5 seconds, it's gonna force a shot through. So what? It'll clear the ball. It'll clear the eye. So if a ball just barely goes past the detents a little bit, you can actually force that ball out without having to turn off the eyes and all that. So very, 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 very awesome, very cool. Now first things that I've enjoyed, now a lot of people don't actually understand why Die didn't go with an OLED in a lot of their board or a lot of their past guns. I said this way, way back in the DM12 review. I said this a long time ago. I said this in the DM12 and the DM14 review way before anyone else was even saying this and picking up on it. They didn't put it in it because they had the ultralight grip frame, which is the thinnest grip frame on the market. When you go and put an OLED board in a grip frame, it's gonna make it fatter. Die had the best grip frame out there on the market, and it was the most comfortable, best ergonomics in any freaking marker ever. When they went and put that in, you know, if you go and put an OLED board in it, it's gonna kinda compromise the design a little bit, which is sort of, why they didn't do it. I completely agree with them. Some people that change their board every single day apparently and tune their marker every single day had some issues with that because you know everyone changes their settings every single day basically. So now that you people that don't like that they had a, uh, that they didn't have an OLED board and all that, guess what? They have one so you can quit your bitching. So first and the screen also delays shut off so it's not going to stay on and you waste your battery. Very very bright. LED right here. Now, first things out of the box is that it's very, very comfortable. It still has that ultralight grip frame feel to it that I remember. It has that awesome feel. Has some really, really nice, amazing ergonomics. It's very, very comfortable in the hand. It's long where it needs to be. It points well. It's got every characteristics of a DM. It, it, it's, it's a DM. It's a very, very well-made DM from my first impressions. It's a lot lighter than the DM15. When I hold these side by side, you can actually tell when I hold them side by side. The ASA for one on this one's fatter. The body's fatter, it's taller, it's bigger, it's nicer. But the thing is, with, the, with these DMs being taller and bigger and fatter, it has less barrel rise and less kick because there's more weight to it. So I'm kind of gonna I'm kind of curious to see how these actually perform apparently that they have the dwell running and the entire pressure is running 20% less than every other DM that's ever been made something like that I mean I didn't read up on the numbers 100% right before the video but I know that they've gotten pressures and all that down so it's gonna still shoot really good I mean they nailed it with this grip frame I gotta say it's still really really skinny where it needs to be the grips are actually even better than the DM15 grips which I noticed this DM15 still feels a little fat in the hands I mean it's still comfortable it's still really nice but then I get this in my hands I'm like ah damn that's really nice it points well like I said the bolt and I'm gonna turn off the board also one last thing about the board I have a vanquish with the joystick this joystick is actually a lot easier to work than any other joystick design that I've ever seen. On the back, all it is is just a joystick to move through the configuration of the, of the board. Really, really, really awesome joystick, I gotta say. Knocked it out of the park. Also, I feel like it's a lot easier to take the bolt out. I kind of had to go off camera on the DM15, the DM14 maintenance review. Kind of have to push it, kind of tug a little bit sometimes. But this is the DM15 bolt. It's a nice blue bolt, so they get points because it's blue, Team Insanity blue. Has not been shot yet from us, so very, very nice. And I'm gonna also take out, now what I did do upon further inspections, this is the red billy wing bolt in the DM15. What I did earlier is that these bolts, I'm kind of curious to see what the difference is between the polishing in the in the different polishing processes and to see if it's actually going to work but what i can do is i am kind of curious just to see if the pressure if there's actual pressure differences between the 15 and the 14 how you can run it but i mean it's still technically a billy wing bolt but it's different polishing i don't know if it was i mean that bolt fits in there perfectly fine okay that that's that's a that's a perfect fit right in there, okay? So I'm kind of curious to see 
is if we test these two bolts side by side in efficiency and dwell and LPR and all that, if one performs a little bit better than the other, um, I'm not 100% sure, but it's kind, it kind of has me feeling some type of way to see if the, the polishing and the extra little design on it had something to do with that because it's kind of, like I said, it's got me feeling some type of way. But, um, yeah, I've got to say this is sexy. Off the top of my head, die knock this out of the park. This is everything that everyone has ever complained about every DM, even what I've complained about. The ASA, the... I mean the trigger kind of I mean it can use a little bit of work out of the box for me still a great trigger they've got that nice reach trigger absolutely almost I mean the side to side play is basically not there at all I mean it's I gotta say I'm very very excited to shoot this I'm very happy with it I didn't know die can make any better changes to a DM the bolts are absolutely amazing people keep on saying oh my gosh die hasn't made any changes to their line forever they need an OLED they'd made an OLED and it's smoother than basically every gun out there on the market I've shot a CS one kind of kind of curious to see how these add up unfortunately I can't get a shooting video out of the box because we don't have any air so we'll have to wait for that you'll have to wait for the gameplay to see how it shoots right out of the box and we can go ahead and do something like that but yeah if, if i actually take these two grip frames throw them up side by side you can see the differences between the grips already just straight out of the box is that the the dm 15s are a little bit fatter actually than the than the m2s which is kind of interesting so i'm not sure um, but the, when I hold them up side by side and I hold them up grip front by grip to ASA to ASA, I'm trying to do this without scratching two very sexy guns. But here's a 15. Let me try it. So you can tell that the 15 is a little bit taller. The 15 is definitely taller. The ASA is definitely fatter, a lot more round. They definitely milled down that ASA, made a better ASA out of that. So this gun is definitely milled down. It's a lot lighter. It's, I cannot wait. <laughs> I, I honestly cannot wait to actually get this thing on the field and start tearing this thing apart because I'm very excited. As you guys know, I'm a big guy in the used market. I haven't bought a brand new gun in, I can't even, probably five years. The last time I bought a brand new gun was my Dangerous Power G4. So I'm kind of, you know, th this is something that I'm definitely thinking about because if you guys know, I'm a huge die fan. I love die. I shoot all Bob Longs right now and I have a Vanquish, but this is really making me rethink about maybe going back into the, the brand new market and maybe picking one of these up. But like I said, we are giving this away to a lucky subscriber eventually. This thing is sexy as fuck. We will eventually get some gameplay and a review up. But I cannot wait to actually get this bad boy out on the field for you. Let me get the board on for one more time. Tells you where your battery's at, when it needs to be charged. You got your USB port up here. I mean, everything about this gun, I am very, very happy about so far out of the box. I'm kind of actually really excited. I have not been this excited about a new gun in a while. When I got this out of the box, I was really excited. Have anything to add, Jacob? What were your first impressions? What's that? Slim? Boner? Jacob said he got a boner out of the box when he got it. So, um, and he's not really a big die fan. So, more videos to come. Hope you guys enjoy this. So, maybe this will be yours.